Gang, that Stay Trashy Tour is coming into the home stretch, baby. Mm-hmm. Grab some tickets and come out and see the boys. A little stand-up comedy, plus we play a little AYG with the crowd. It's a good, good time. Yeah, uh, in November, we're coming to Pontiac, Michigan. Then four shows in Chicago, Illinois. Woo! Limited tickets remaining for them. Get those, baby. Then we're hitting Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, Sacramento, San Francisco, San Jose, Washington, D.C. Then we're adding it in Philadelphia. Two huge shows at the Fillmore. Get those tickets. That's going to sell out. We love yous, gang. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grow up to be classy, yeah. or they're just a big old piece of trash. Garbage. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Just saw her knock down a half a bottle of NyQuil. Okay. So dinner's going to be a little late tonight, boys. All right. All right. My co-host <laughs> is coming at you from right next to me, really sticking to me with no, the Tootie's no, lately. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't fucking He's working on that for two weeks. Don't put that on me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He's my best pal in the whole wide world. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. Then obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage, yes, gang. Sir. It's a goddamn party over there. Yes, sir. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, in the fours, he crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruff and Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What up, T-Bone? Hey, pal. Yo, this guy we got in here, get him to a roulette table. The kid's got a hot hair. Kids, on a, on. kids <laughs> on a heater of a heater this year. <laughs> Scorching up the earth. <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. He is a very funny stand-up comedian who was on a meteoric rise right now. Uh-huh. You've seen him just about everywhere. You've seen him on a Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. He's on tour right now, and he has a brand new Netflix special out right now called Cowabunga. Give it up for Ralph Barbosa, everybody. Yeah. There What's he up? is. What's the up, fucking dude? kids in the town. Yeah. You guys you guys have such great podcast voices. <laughs> <laughs> talk real fast. No, and you got, like, <laughs> this guy was throwing up the whips like www.com. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Hit it with the weather and the traffic real quick. <laughs> Keep it moving, baby. Buddy, thanks for coming in. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're fucking blowing up, man. I do all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Give us the backstory. Where'd you grow up? Tell us the whole deal. Texas, right? Texas. I grew up um, in Dallas, Texas. We're actually a suburb of Dallas called Mesquite, Texas. Okay. Yeah, I was like one block away from the Dallas city limit. So growing up, I wasn't even like allowed to claim Dallas by, <laughs> yeah, by yeah, yeah. actual Dallas residents. Uh-huh. Now, now they claim me. Now yeah, they're like, now, you know, from now here. They, get, they get the hot hand. Like, yo, Ralph, we always loved Ralph. Yeah, uh, yeah. But now I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm from the Putting unrespectable a Mesquite. In downtown Dallas. Yeah, I, I hear Staten Island. I hear New York gets a lot of crap, and I feel like Mesquite is kind of like the Staten Island of where sure, I'm from. Yeah, Staten Island <laughs> catches a lot of shit from everybody else. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's where I'm from, out in Dallas, Mesquite, whatever. <laughs> um, Classic suburban upbringing. Yeah, um, it's it's the kind of place where like all my Hispanic relatives who like lived in the hood didn't respect me. They're like, nah, bro, you live in a good neighborhood. Mm-hmm. But then like all. All the people that I went to school with that lived in like real suburbs, like if I told the white guy I was from Mesquite, they're just like, ill. <laughs> God damn, yeah. you're from the hood. Yeah, there's no winning, man. <laughs> Stuck in purgatory. What was, uh, you grew up with your uh, mom, dad, brother, sisters? What was the. I actually grew up with my grandparents. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's wild, man, because like when parents get divorced they always tell the kid like yo it's not your fault it's not your fault but i don't know like my <laughs> i feel like it might have been my fault <laughs> yeah my dad left me with my mom my mom left me with my grandparents and eventually my grandpa left me with my grandma like damn i'm the common denominator jesus here. christ <laughs> yeah. trying to get the fuck away from you it's a bad <laughs> seed <laughs> so me and my grandma were real close you know yeah yeah, yeah. for now yeah yeah, yeah. Who, who knows what happens <laughs> any brothers or sisters yeah, I got like a ton of half siblings, man. I don't call them my half siblings, not to their face. <laughs> <laughs> just in public, on public. I don't know this dude. <laughs> just on podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got a so I got a sister 
in Mexico mm-hmm. that my dad had with a la- a Mexican lady. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have my teenage brother and sister who I currently live with. Uh, now I live with my dad. Okay. So like my dad, my stepmom. Uh, actually, they just had another baby, so I got like a tiny baby sister. And then with on Dang. my mom's side, my mom has one other daughter. I got her. She's a she's a preteen. How old are, How old are you now? I, I turned 27 today, actually. I wanted no to, shit. I wanted to spend it with you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. We didn't get you anything, but. <laughs> That's all right. Take anything you want out of the studio. Yeah, That's all right. Take that peanut butter jar back there. <laughs> He's already got his eyes on it. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's got peanut butter? God damn. This guy's got his own peanut butter. Uh, okay, so, so there's a 27-year age difference between you and your youngest sibling. Mm-hmm. Damn. Where does your mom and dad go? So you said your your dad left you with your mom. Did he stay in town, or they just got a divorce, or um, did he dip? Nah, they weren't. They were never married. Um, but they were living together at a certain point. They were. Uh, they had me as like teenagers. Okay. And they were living together, and then they split up. And then when I was maybe like five, um, my dad was on probation, and he okay. like. Uh, for reasons I, I won't get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. He like, uh, he like beat the shit out some guy, and he thought he was gonna go to jail, so he just like took off. Damn. And then he came back. He got like a lawyer, and he only did like two weeks in jail. So it wasn't your fault. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy had it coming. <laughs> some guy me. running his mouth. Mm-hmm. But nah, my mom, my mom was just uh like, just young, like wild. She was just out there like doing her thing, you know. Yeah, teenager. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And so, yeah, she just, I don't know, was out there. I don't know where she went. I, was, yeah. I never really asked. Damn. But sometimes she would come live with us. We live, cause I, always, it was, I always stayed with my grandma. They were always in Mesquite, your grandparents. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, and so no matter what, though, I always stayed with my grandma. And sometimes my mom would come live with us. And I would be like, look who comes running back to us. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't so great out there, huh? Is it, yeah. Mom? Even when I was like 23 and she was still like, come live with us. Like, she like stayed with us at, at that point. I always reminded her like, me and, my, me and Grandma let like, you stay with us. Yeah, 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 this ain't your house. You got yeah, 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 yeah. We're waiting for you to get back on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a room when she would come home or is she on the couch or the nah, basement? Nah, she had a room. She always she had, had a room. room. Yeah. Okay. Huh. And what'd your grandma do for a living growing up? Was she working? <clears throat> nah, no, not my my uncle uh, made my grandma like retire when he was like fifteen or sixteen. He used to sell drugs. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's uh, this is shaping up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the I, show. Gang. I think we've made our decision. On, <laughs> uh, Girls in the best pro shop. <laughs> your, that your fifteen year old old uncle makes his grandma or makes your mom retire. God damn. Okay. Must have been doing good. So that was what was funding the the lifestyle. Yeah. So um. Back then, that street that we lived on in Mesquite was like, I mean, that, that area was like pretty nice. Now, now it's like kind of going downhill, mm-hmm. but we were like uh, the first like people of color to move into that block. And then, I don't know, I think actually my neighbor from across the street was the first person of color. But yeah, other than that, it was, it was like was an Italian. all white neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle, uh, as a, as a, as a teenager was making like really good money and he got my uh when my mom was pregnant he convinced like my my mom their mom my grandma my grandpa and everybody to like let him find a realtor and like move them out of, oh damn we, yeah they were living like on the on the east part of uh of dallas mm-hmm. okay and it was like really really bad there it was like really dangerous and yeah he got them to move like two days before i was born and uh that, like i'm telling you that area was like pretty nice at that time mm-hmm. and uh yeah he when he but i think by the time he got them to move he was already like 18 but when he was like 15 or 16 my grandma was uh working like at a like at a restaurant or something and he just was like nah you that's shouldn't work wrap, anymore yeah. yeah damn damn 15 16 making fucking moves yeah that's yeah. all right setting up i can't, I can't, I can't even do that now and i'm yeah. pushing 40 <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ even if i could i would never <laughs> <laughs> you can come stay with me till you get on your feet but yeah. that's about it <laughs> I will charge you rent. <laughs> Damn. And you're still living with your grandmom now? No, nah, nah, actually, I live with my dad now. It's for the first time ever, I'm, I've been living with my dad. I've been there like a year now. Okay. Yeah, we moved out to this little, uh, well, my dad always, uh, he lived out there for, for way longer than I did, but we moved out to a little land like an hour south of Dallas. Damn, so you're out there. Out in the country. That's why I got this Bass Pro Shop shirt. 
I still haven't gone fishing, but I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> Get me some bait. I'll be out there. Flexing yeah. the gear. What's your pop do now? Uh, he, he like remodels houses and does a lot of like construction type work for. Okay. Like contractor type mm -hmm. jobs. Gotcha. Okay. So growing up at your grandmom's, um, what was school like? Oh, easy. I was very spoiled too. Really? Yeah. Um, my grandma, you know, she had like free time and she like spoiled me. I remember when like <laughs> Spider-Man two or three came out. I, I convinced her to like take me out of school early so I could go watch it Damn. during the day. Yeah, my grandma, my grandma was the best, and school was pretty easy. Um, I used to think, and I, I mean, I still kind of do think that I was very lucky to go to like a pretty diverse school. I feel like we had a little bit of everybody. Uh huh. But then I came to like New York, and like this is real diversity. Yeah, this yeah. yeah my yeah. my school was just like black, white, Mexican. Like here is like. You go Slavian. Yeah, and, just every, yeah there's it's a like, little flavor from everywhere. Yeah. Yugoslavians. <laughs> <laughs> I never met no Yugoslavians. <laughs> huh. Okay. And uh, what was the high school mascot growing up? A uh, stallion. That's pretty that's good. Pretty that's Texas. A, that's a real Texas yeah. fucking Good football mascot. team? No. <laughs> really? We had the, out of all the Mesquite high schools, I think we had the coolest, like, mascot. Mm -hmm. Like, who were the stallions? The other ones were, like, the Pirates. <laughs> the mosquito skeeters. <laughs> what? That's, that's <laughs> and it was just like a really angry, scrawny mosquito. It's like buzz. Oh, damn. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't remember what the other one was, but that was like about it. The mosquito lantern flies yeah. coming into town. <laughs> the larvas. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had the stallions, and we were so sorry. And how'd you do in school? I was I was pretty good. I was I was a I'll, I'll be honest. I was really lazy. Okay. I did enough to like get by. Um, if I worked pretty hard and I tried, I could get like some straight A's. Would your grandma stay on top of you with your, your schooling and stuff like that? Was she tough mm, with you on that? Nah, nah. She was. Just, she was pretty chill. Yeah, she she would. She. I don't even think she knew what my grades were. She knew they were good, and she knew enough to go brag to the other grandmas. Like, <laughs> oh no, he's so smart. You know, like uh, <laughs> he's such a talent. <laughs> but but you, I did all right. Were you getting in trouble at all? Any? You know. I got into a little trouble here and there. Um. I would do some something like crazy every now and then, Not, nothing too bad, and I just hope that I would never get caught. You know, <laughs> I, one time we broke into a house. Jesus that was Christ. pretty. That got one pretty time we scary. robbed a bank. You know, crazy. <laughs> that was probably the worst thing I ever did. It got it got pretty scary because uh, we heard, we heard people like arriving while oh, we were in there. We didn't that. steal anything. Jesus Christ. We we the mouse so it was just so dumb. We were like thirteen or fourteen. And, we broke into one of my neighbor's house who like lives on my block <laughs> and because we thought that their older sister had like weed or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I used to, I didn't know how much weed went for. I used to think maybe if I just had a handful of it, I could get rich off of it. Like, sure. <laughs> I had just got done watching that movie blow. Yeah. <laughs> I got a dime bag selling for 14 grand. If yeah. Anybody wants it. And so we, we got into my neighbor's house and uh, I was looking for it. And one of my buddies, it was like four of us, five of us, and one of my buddies was like, Ralph, and he's like, come to the kitchen. And I went over there. And like I said, we weren't like poor, but I don't know. We just never, I guess, picked up these kind of snacks. They had Nutella. I had never seen Nutella. <laughs> Dude, that's, so we've been talking about Nutella every episode yeah. for the past like, five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So at 13. You Forget about the weed. Take the Nutella. Get the Nutella. We're that's, all going to be rich. That shit's imported. Dude. So we're just like hanging out in their kitchen, like eating these Nutella snack packs. <laughs> dude, what <laughs> the, the snack fuck? Pack. Just like having a childhood, you know? Yeah, just hanging. <laughs> and then we start opening up their Christmas presents and yeah. shit. <laughs> we heard the door. They had like a deadlock. Mm hmm. And we had already locked that deadlock just in case somebody got home. And, Smart. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we heard them coming in, and so we just, like, ran. And we went to my other neighbor's house who lived, like, across the street from that house and just stayed there, like, all day, scared Damn. to come out, just watching the house to see if cops were going to show up. And they never called the cops. And you knew the family, and they knew you and stuff like that, right? No, 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 no. We knew, like, the... Um, the like girl. The, the, yeah, like the kids, I guess. And even even then, we kind of knew them. We were like kind of mean to them. <laughs> even if they would have made that 911 call, like what was taken from the house? Well, a bunch of rich crackers are gone. <laughs> Some snack packs. <laughs> the they just thought raccoons broke in. <laughs> <laughs> they took all the Capri Suns. <laughs> Man, that's fucking funny. Huh. All right. What'd you do? How'd you do on the SATs? Take the SATs? I don't I don't think I took those. And if I did, not very well. <laughs> did you go to college at all? 
I went to community college. Nice. For uh, I went to community college and then I went to like trade school. Okay. Yeah. I I I got. I'm a I'm a certified painter. All right. Yeah. There paint, you go. Paint cars. Uh, and I'm also a licensed barber. Which That's actually good. both of those certificates are expired by now, but <laughs> but I got them. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. yeah. That's Ex- all right. Expired barber. Any vacations growing up? Would you guys go anywhere? Uh, yeah, we I mean And who was the nu- like who was around when you were a kid? It was you and your grandmother? Um my your o- uncle was around, I assume? Yeah. My my older cousin Carlos, he's like two years older than me. Okay. Very overprotective, but also the guy who'd kick my ass all the time. You know? Okay. Like if anybody kicks your ass, it's gonna be me. Um, I was very close with my buddies growing up. My buddy Jaime, we used to call him Jaime, and then in turn we call him Heine. Uh, he's actually the, like the guy who takes pictures and videos of like the tour stuff we oh, do. Oh, nice! Now. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's great. Yeah, his family was around. My buddy Tony, buddy Daniel, Mark, just like everybody who lived on that block. We were very close. Uh, when we go to, I guess technically vacation. We weren't going to any of the, like, very touristy destination spots, but we were going to, like, visit family in Mexico every year. Okay. And so my grandma would get all my cousins together, so we'd drive to, like, every city that we had relatives in. And then by the end of the trip, we had, like, five of my cousins with me. And, Just picking up people along the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my grandma had a house in Mexico, which well, she still does, I think. And, yeah, we'd, we'd spend most of the summer there, and it was awesome. She'd take us all to, right. like, the beach, the movies. She had this pickup truck. And in uh, one of the cities we'd go to, there was a lot of, like, prostitution. And a lot of those, I don't know if they have them up here. They got them, like, in Texas, too. They're, like, these drive- Yeah, we got hookers. Yeah, we got <laughs> <laughs> they got these, like, drive through liquor stores where, like, women in bikinis come and sell you, like, the oh, liquor. Oh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> and, um, well, they got a lot of those in the, in the city we'd go to and a lot of prostitutes. And sometimes after the movies, my grandma would get us all in the back of the pickup truck. Because in Mexico, they don't care if you ride in, like, sure, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the cargo. And... <laughs> We just drive around and she let us like yell at prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> we just yell like, Yeah, my man, like, call me. Like, <laughs> we're, we're like island boys, we're gonna go talk shit. <laughs> yeah, we're like, What's up, baby? And, like, these ladies were just like, What? <laughs> and my grandma would just drive off. <laughs> Bunch of kids eating Nutella in the back of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> so you had your passport young. Ah, uh, well, you didn't need a you didn't need a passport back then. Really? Yeah, I don't I don't remember when oh, that probably. came into. Yeah. Really, uh, if you're under eighteen, I, st- I think I, or sixteen, I don't, I don't think you need one even now. Do you mm. have your passport now? Now I do. Yeah, I nice. went to Canada. That's uh, why I got it. For work, like for comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, huh? And what age did you get it? Very recently. Yeah, I just got it like this year. In fact, when we when we booked the Canada gig, um, it was like a couple months. I like I. I found out that it was a couple months, you know, coming up or whatever, and then I went and like expedited the yeah, whole yeah, yeah. Nice. passport thing. Yeah, and I got it. Canada's pretty cool, you know. It's like Mexico, but with the white people instead of Mexicans. <laughs> sure. They're on the back of pickup trucks yelling yeah. at fucking hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, eh? <laughs> yeah, but let's talk about Beam. I'm beaming, baby. Gang, if you're having trouble falling asleep, quit counting sheep and get over to Beam. It's mm-hmm. a hot chocolate that knocks you the fuck out. Yeah. Let's go. Wake up like Debo <laughs> <laughs> three days later. <laughs> you might not have your chain on you, but you're going to feel rested and refreshed. Yeah, uh, it's fantastic. They sent it to us. We got the whole gang on it. You mix um, a scoop of it with hot water or milk, stir it up, wait for the magic to happen with nano CBD and all natural ingredients. Delicious. People will have you, you in, that. They'll have you in sheepy town in no time. Mm-hmm. Uh, today, all you garbage listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder. It's their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Now available in delicious flavors like sea salt caramel, cinnamon cocoa, chocolate peanut butter. Better sleep has never tasted better. A recent clinical study revealed Dream helped 93% of users wake up feeling more refreshed, and 93% reported that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. If you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder, take advantage of their biggest sale of the year and get up to 50% off, baby. 50% off for a limited time when you go to to shopbeam.com slash garbage and use the code cyber at checkout. That's shopbeam.com slash garbage and use the code cyber for up to 50% off. Do it. Now back to the show. Back to the show. How is your grandmother in the kitchen? Good cook? Yeah, she doesn't cook much these days. You know, she's she's, she's retiring. Sure. Cooking life, but yeah, she used to make good... uh, Called albondigas. They're just like this kind of a stew with meatballs. Okay. Uh, great meatballs. Great uh, flour tortillas, homemade flour tortillas. Yeah, nice. Great beans, you know. 
Would you guys do like dinner on Sunday? Was that like a routine? Was there any type of nah. schedule like that? The only time we had like some sort of dinner schedule was when my grandpa was still living with us. Uh, he worked like in construction type. He did like a lot of sheetrock. Mm-hmm. Um, he'd get home like at the same time every day. And so she'd have like dinner ready and we'd eat in the kitchen. We had this tiny little television with like the little VHS port thing mm-hmm. okay. on top of the fridge. And we just like watch TV, like have C- dinner and watch TV. Yeah. CW kitchen, yeah. or like Telemundo or something, you know, did you have a TV in your room? Mm-hmm. Nice. That same TV, we had like another version of that one. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love TV. TV was my best friend. <laughs> yeah. What was your what was your favorite show growing up? Uh man, I had a few. I I loved watching movies. Like I'd always catch movies like on like um, TNT or TBS or whatever. Yeah, also, you guys like, had cable. Mm-hmm. HBO, had, all that stuff, the whole deal. No, nah, no, nah, I had like a like ninety nine channels. Okay, so I watched like movies on like VH1, CMT. <laughs> sure, sure. I was watching like Roadhouse. You know, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Road, the Double Deuce. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to CMT, man. They'll put a couple <laughs> bangers on every once in a while. Uh, yeah, I was watching like my cousin Vinny, Risky <laughs> Business. <laughs> Awesome. Watching like Spike TV a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watching the Slam Ball Championships. Mm-hmm. Were you bringing your lunch to school, or did you buy it at school? Nah, nah, nah we had free lunch. That's why we <laughs> we lived like we, we were living like a really easy, luxurious lifestyle. But as far as the school knew, my mom made minimum wage. <laughs> 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 Got to cook the books. So I was the I, I was the only sc- I was the only kid in school wearing like nice polo shirts and like Nikes, Jordans, but also getting like free, free lunch. lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Damn. Yeah, what the fuck? It's <laughs> funny, huh? Yeah, I Good don't know. Times. Did you drink milk with dinner growing up? With dinner? Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah. No. Nah. Favorite like, cereal as a kid? Probably tricks. Tricks are for kids. Were you allowed to have sugar cereal whenever you want it? <laughs> yeah. I actually was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at a young age. Damn. So, yeah, it was like. Too much yeah, cereal. Yeah, a little too much cereal there. Jesus. Huh. What All was right. the family car growing up? Uh, I feel like you just marked off the question of, like, <laughs> are, are you diabetic? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have all your toes? <laughs> family car. Whatever my uncle wasn't driving anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, he just like, got passed it to your grandparents. Yeah. yeah. Your, your uncle sounds all right. <laughs> <laughs> we had like a we had like a blue escalade or black BMW. No shit, <laughs> dude, Christ, a blue dude. escalade? That screams drug dealer. Yeah, we, we had <laughs> we had like a Mustang. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> your grandmom driving around in a Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping you off at school. It's got Lamborghini doors <laughs> on it. You're going to get free lunch. My my grandpa, uh, he always had like his work truck. And then he always had like his like going out truck, mm-hmm. and so at first it was like this uh, 04 navy blue Chevy Silverado, and and uh, he's like nobody touch it, nobody drives it but me. Always kept it under tarp, and then it w- it became later on he got this uh, red 2012 Chevy Silverado, and yeah, like nobody could ever touch it. Like that was his baby. Mm-hmm. But the whole time we were like, bro, nobody wants to touch it. We were literally driving my uncle's Corvette right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're in an Escalade. I don't give a yeah, fuck about like, this goddamn Silverado. <laughs> how many dude? how many cars were under a tarp in the in the in the driveway? Just the one? No, no, no. So yeah, the only one that'd be in the tarp was the one that was in the garage, which was usually just my grandpa's truck. Okay, all right. Do you guys? So in the garage, do you guys have a fridge in there, a refrigerator? Mm-mm. No, no. Okay, no, no garage fridge. No. Hmm. I wish. You know what we did end up having later was a garage freezer, which I didn't understand the point of it. What'd we, you keep What in was there? in there? There's just like extra fish and chicken and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. Hmm. My grandma would buy so much fish and chicken, you'd think we'd have like a family of 10. <laughs> it was, this is so wasteful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're freezing it. You're saving it for later. Were you a Crystal Light family growing up? Crystal Light? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. See, it's, it's sometimes not even Crystal Light. You're, uh, do they have great value over here? Now, yeah. store brand? Yeah. yeah great yeah. value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just Oh, great, great value. I think it said great value. No, no, no. Great, great value. value. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. It is not of great value, but. <laughs> <laughs> Any injuries as a kid? You break anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the first, like, major one, somewhat major. I didn't break anything on this one, but it did tear off, like, a ton of skin. I got a huge scar on my left thigh. Um, <clears throat> my grandpa bought, like, this mini little dirt bike thing had like a lot of power and i tried to ride it when i was like nine and yeah. it just fucking crashed nasty i did the same thing same age yeah sweet hell yeah yeah <laughs> uh other than that i i broke my hand play fighting with my friends 
I think it's called like a boxer's break yeah. where like the pinky knuckle breaks off yeah. the, the rest uh-huh. of it. Yeah. Uh, so dirt bikes, you'd say a little mini dirt bike, a couple of crazy cars, or anything like that. Any ATVs, any jet skis floating around the house? Uh, my uncle would like, I don't think he ever owned them, but every now and then they took us to the lake and they'd have like a jet ski, like they'd rent them and stuff. Okay. But I don't think he ever owned one. We didn't live near enough water. water. Mm. Gotcha. What was, uh, what was the bike growing up? The bike? Yeah. Like, like the bicycle? Your bicycle. My yeah. bicycle? Uh, man, they get stolen all the time. <laughs> it's probably your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, it's just whatever. They just take me like a Walmart or Toys R Us and yeah, just get just like get... a bike. Yeah. Okay. Rode with the biker crew. Yeah. Do you ever have a Power Wheels when you were a kid? Mm-mm. Oh, like those little electric cars? Yeah. Um, man, I can see you I, having one of those. If I did, I, pro- I probably wasn't like big enough to remember, but I bet I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I, bet it, I bet my childhood was amazing, even the parts I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> they keep the butter on the counter at your grandmom's house or in the refrigerator? Refrigerator. Refrigerator? Hmm. Ketchup? Keep that in the fridge or out? Um, Depends who had it last. <laughs> <laughs> Were you allowed to eat in your room? Hell yeah. Yeah? That's so right. I ate most of my meals. <laughs> Sounds pretty lax up yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> most houses. I like it. Any sports growing up? I didn't. I never played for a team. I was, like, too nervous to, like, try out or go to practices. But I loved playing basketball. We'd, we'd play basketball, like, every day after school. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I went, to, I went to my middle school basketball tryouts. And uh, I tried to, like, push the gym door open. There were so many kids in there. They were all, like... Like, whoever wasn't on the court doing their tryout time or whatever was, like, leaning it against the wall and the doors. And when I tried to open it, this big kid kind of, like, he didn't even look back. He just, like, leaned back on the door to, like, reclose it. And I was just like, all right, that's all right. I don't, <laughs> First, I don't have to try out. It's enough of that. <laughs> yeah. uh, any jobs as a kid? <laughs> I got my first job when I was 12. It was a dishwasher at a Mexican seafood restaurant. All right. Yeah, one of my neighbors owned it. By this time, there's a lot more Hispanics on the block. That's okay. Like 12, you know? Sure. And, um. Yeah, I, I did that. I would go work for my dad at his body shop. That's where I got into, like, painting cars and stuff, like, right. sand cars. Um, I was a dishwasher at another restaurant from time to time. Uh, I also did, like, my dad, I had another business where we would go, like, paint apartments, mm-hmm. like, on the inside. Uh, stuff like that. So okay. good work, I think. Yeah. Started working at 12. What was your last job before you started popping off in comedy? I was a barber. Barber, right. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Would you work in a barber shop or you just do it like on the side? Yeah. So at first I was only doing it out of my room at my grandma's and I had no plans on going to a shop or even getting a license. Like <laughs> I, was, I was doing open mics every night and I was making like two, three hundred bucks a week cutting hair at home. Whose hair were you cutting? Just your, your boys? Yeah. People from the neighborhood or mm-hmm. whatever. And um, grandmoms. <laughs> <laughs> eventually, uh, when my ex-girlfriend came out pregnant. It was like right when we broke up. And so I was like, all right, I better, you know, get it together here. Mm-hmm. So I uh, um, I think by that time I was going like on and off to barber college. I went to this very ghetto barber college where it was Man, just like. on and off to barber college. <laughs> yeah, it was like if you Jesus if you paid Christ. this month, you could go. But if you oh, did it, like you couldn't. <laughs> what was the name of it? It's called Soul Barber Academy. <laughs> oh, my God. Bar Academy. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, but, yeah, we. Makes it sound like you live there. <laughs> yes, I'm at the academy. I had a dorm <laughs> now, but uh, I went I, so the down the street from the body shop that my dad had. There was this barber shop. We'd go get our haircuts in a in a neighborhood called Oak Cliff, and I ended up. I'd always go get my haircuts there, even even when I wouldn't be with my dad. So later on, once I was you know about to be licensed, that place gave me my. A, a chair and like oh, nice. an official job or whatever. Okay. What is that process, by the way? How does that work? Do you have pay the pay to rent the chair? Yeah, uh, every shop's different. Some of them do like commission, where you got to give them like so many bucks out of every haircut. But that place was booth rent, so every every week I just paid one hundred seventy five bucks a week. That's to get that booth. I don't think right. I mean, how many? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. As long as you you like stay busy, that's yeah. like nothing, you know. Did you have a good roster, like people coming in? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, since I had. I started cutting hair when I was 13, so I had a long time to build Kids clientele. Kids are fucking worker. God damn. <laughs> you still got cl- like good clippers and shit like that? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, Have you ever fucked yeah, someone's that was head? My yeah. question. Oh, so many times. <laughs> <laughs> when I started cutting hair, it was before YouTube tutorials were like a thing. Just winging it? <laughs> yeah, I just had to like ask the barbers at the shop, like, hey, how do I do like this, this and that, and just try to memorize things they said. Mm-hmm. But by the time I'm there, like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just... <laughs> 
But I'm trying shit. Eventually, I got the hang of it, you know? Holy shit. How bad did you fuck up somebody's hair? Oh, bad, man. Because my friends got, like, fades, you know? They'd get, like, a like a ball fade where, you know, you balled out the bottom and just fade it into the top. Uh-huh. But to start that, you got to create what we, I don't, what we call it, like, a chili bowl. Okay. Where you do just one hard line. And then like balled out Schultz the bottom. Walking around yeah. With. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why he does that. That whack ass haircut. <laughs> That's crazy. Schultz, I love you, but you're nuts. He had yeah. to do it for a movie and he likes it. Oh, yeah. Uh, is yeah. that what it was? Yeah. Well, more power to you, but I uh, see that. I just want to fade it so bad. I <laughs> get over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's like step one of a haircut. Sure. Is, is that. And then blend that in. Yeah. yeah. Um, so where would the trouble come in? Blending it in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to just sit there and try things. And I'm like, maybe it's not bald enough on the bottom. It just make like a harder line. <laughs> Did you, have you ever uh, get any requests for any like for like stars shaved in or like? A, yeah. Can you do any of that shit? Man, I could do like minor stuff. I never really wanted to. I, I did want to get into it for a while, but then it would take up time. And I was, I was like, man, I just want to get on to the next cut already. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not worth it. I'm, I'm too slow at it to really make it profitable. Yeah. Because I could charge like an extra five, ten bucks, but then my next guy who's waiting, waiting is yeah. like, bro, I got to go to somebody else. Fuck this. Sure. Mm-hmm. Any lines in the eyebrows when you were a kid? Nah. Any piercings? Yeah, uh, but they would always close on me. I'd, I kept forgetting that I had pierced my ears. <laughs> so I'd have to like pierce them like a few months later again. <laughs> I pierced my ears like four times. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, uh, how old, what was the young, what age did you start getting tattoos? Uh, man, I was already like, I don't know, 21, 22. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. That ain't bad. And what was the first tattoo? Uh, this Krusty the Clown tattoo. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Found what we were looking for. Yeah, yeah that's all right. <laughs> all right. Huh. You said you went to community college for a minute. Yeah. What was the major? Theater. Okay. Oh, all, right. all right. So then you kind of started to realize that you wanted to be an entertainer. Yeah. Um. I actually did that before getting like the painter certificate or anything like that. I wanted to. I wanted to be a comedic actor. I always wanted to be a comedian, but I, I thought I could be like in funny movies or something. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, be like Adam Sandler, Will Ferrell fan. And um, I had seen online that <laughs> Adam Sandler went to to NYU for acting. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I guess maybe that's like a start, you know? And I just, Smart, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't really get into NYU, but <laughs> Richland Community College, <laughs> home of the Ducks. Uh, I don't know if, what their mascot is. You got damn Bradley Cooper down there. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Uh, but yeah, I went, but I, I didn't really do so well. My acting teacher one day was like, How, why are you doing this? Damn. Now, it wasn't like <laughs> it wasn't like super mean about it. He was just kind of like trying to get to know me more. But okay. I think it was obvious that I wasn't really like doing as good as the other students. Mm-hmm. And uh, I told him that I wanted to, you know, be a comedian, like be in funny movies or whatever. And he was like, well, that's cool. He's like, you know, just keep working at it. But he's like, you should also chase uh, like different avenues of comedy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like do all the angles or whatever and he told me about like open mics i could do locally there you go yeah and uh yeah i just I, I fell in love with open mics and i didn't i didn't even go back to like the acting class i did the other stuff to like keep a day job or whatever but the whole time i was doing mics yeah but then you said you your girlfriend got pregnant at- yeah we had we had like just split up and maybe we had been split up for like three four weeks and um, she was going to take a trip to Mexico. I was actually trying to, like, get back with her. And uh, she had a trip. She was going to leave to Mexico for, like, a month to visit, like, her dad or her dad's land or something. And um, I was like, before you go, like, you should take a pregnancy test. What if you're pregnant? And she was like, that's dumb. And then, like, two hours later, she called me crying. She was like, I'm pregnant. No shit. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's what you get. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> that's what I get. That's yeah. <laughs> Talk about the ultimate backfire. <laughs> Uh, okay. So you got a kid? Yeah, he's four now. Nice. Damn. And where where where's he at? Um, he splits up time with with his mom and and me. Nice. Um, I'm I'm usually home. I'm usually back in Texas, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes all the way to Thursday. Okay. And so he's with me those days from like Sunday night to like Thursday morning. Great. Take him to pre K and all that. Nice. And then the rest of the weekend he'll be with his mom. All mm-hmm. right, there you go. Did he ask you what are you whipping around in in Texas? What are you driving? Ooh. Uh, Blue Escalade. <laughs> nah, right now, I actually drive in a 2018 uh, Infinity Q, okay. Q50 Sport. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm I'm starting 
This has actually been draining my money. I probably shouldn't spend it this fast, but I I, like this. I started a a, a Chevy collection. So I just bought an 87 Monte Carlo luxury sport. (laughs) What the fuck? Here we go. I bought a, a 95 single cab Silverado Z71. Which are kind of hard to find. Sure. Uh, are they is it your dad's house? Uh, a couple of them are. The other one I have is a uh, with 2,000 original miles, like in great condition. Looks like it just came out the factory. Uh, 1996 uh, Chevy Impala Supersport. <laughs> Damn. Dude, it's you good. are you are so Texas, man. Like, <laughs> no, no, normal guy's like, I'm going to get one car. You're like, I'm getting nine Chevys. Yeah. <laughs> this is his fucking... Here's my Bun B tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is as new money as it gets. Yeah. This is what we're yeah. talking about. Mind yeah. you, mind you, I don't plan on leaving my dad's yeah, house. Yeah, you're living with your dad. That's crazy. <laughs> you... You can take the, the car out if he wants on a weekend. You might be the only dude who has a car collection and lives with his dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so on that same tip, I don't know if there's other stuff, but when the tour started going, things started popping, were there any other silly purchases that you made? It's a bunch of sneakers. Bunch of sneakers. Yeah. Now now Do you remember I'm... what the first like the first big check was where you were like, Oh fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the first big check, like the, the biggest check I this was the biggest check I had at the at the time was um uh, December of last year doing San Diego Laugh Factory. And um, I remember just getting so cocky before I even got the check. I knew sure. I knew how much it you was going to be. You know what it was like, going to be. Yeah. It's 1500 <laughs> <laughs> I just bought six cars. <laughs> no, so I had, it, I had bought no cars. I was still driving around like this beat up, shitty ass Honda. Like bad, bad car. Uh, it's probably going to kill me on the road one day. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're in San Diego, me and my two buddies that, that tour with me. And uh, I once I find out what the check is gonna be, we're just we're just going to restaurants and stores, and I'm like, get whatever you guys want, man. This, this fucking check is gonna be amazing. Like, you guys want shoes? Shoes on me. Fuck it. Like, yeah, fuck fucking it. order Taking steaks. the boys out. Yeah, yeah, we're like eating steaks and shit. But the check's not cash. What are you putting this on a credit card? No, no, no. So I had a little bit of money from like the previous gigs. Gotcha. Not, not, not what this check was gonna be, but just a little change in my pocket, you know. But I'm, <laughs> this kid's I'm all right. In my, pocket. <laughs> my pockets are, are getting pretty close to empty by Sunday. <laughs> Damn, you blow, you blew your whole, your we're, whole bank we're roll in a week. Too good of a time. And did the boys take you up on the sneakers? <clears throat> One of them did, yeah. One of them didn't let me buy him sneakers until like way later. <laughs> but, waiting, for, waiting for the good pair. I, I thought you were gonna be like, one did. He's no longer touring. With <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, by the time you know the weekend's done, um, I'm like waiting for. I'm I'm used to like the clubs now. At the, like come somebody comes to get you and they're like, hey, you ready? Yeah, the other night, yeah. Handle up or whatever. And they were just like, oh no no, we mail you a check. They're like oh. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, why didn't I think that? <laughs> hey, you better mail it here, pussy, because I'm fucking waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what post office you dropped that bad? I'm going to go pick it up. You know how embarrassing it was, man? I had already, like, been... Everyone's decked out, sneakers, <laughs> jewelry, Chris Ruth bags and shit. I went back to my friends like, hey, take those shoes off right now. <laughs> nah, I just... I, I, I was, I was such a, that was such a dumbass move because this is now, like, the... You know, for two and a half months, I've been doing pretty well for myself, you know, making decent checks or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'm going back home like, yo, dad, can I hold a couple hundred <laughs> bucks? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, young kid the, on the come up. What are you going to do? Did the mail come to you? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That check came in like a week and a half later. Oh. I had to pay back so many people. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst, dude. When you mismanage your money and you, you're like, oh, I got this check coming. You start borrowing and then that check comes and you're like, I got to turn around and give this all right yeah. back to people. I learned, I learned my that. lesson. Yeah. Um, do you like to go out to have a nice dinner? Every now and then. But honestly, man, I, I just like junk food. I love hot wings, tacos, burgers. Okay. Yeah. So Where I love were you New going York. when you were out in San Diego? What, what, have, you, have you had anything since things have started to work out? Have you had anything that you'd never had before that you tried? Uh, nah, I stick to the same stuff. I mean, when I do go for something more expensive, it'll probably be like seafood. Also, I, I love steaks. I okay, get like an okay. expensive steak. And when I was in San Diego, uh, we we walked to this basketball court that was like just not too far away, and we're walking back to the to the hotel or whatever. Um, we 
there's like a bunch of restaurants. It's just like nice Italian looking restaurant. But we were like in sweats and t-shirts or whatever. And I stopped to look at the menu that's outside the restaurant. And the uh, I told the late the the receptionist lady or whatever. I was like, can can you the get hostess, a, the, the hostess, hostess the receptionist, receptionist. Whatever, whatever they call them? Told, at those the, told the secretary, I might. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I knew my boys might be looking to eat. <laughs> oh man, this kid's all right. I was, <laughs> hold I was hold like, my calls and give me a Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, can, can we get a table for three? She was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She didn't even sit us inside, which was like. I, I was I was I was coming down with a case of like little man syndrome. Mm-hmm. Sure, so I started getting offended. She sat us outside in the patio, even though the inside was like totally open. <laughs> it was all fancy in there. Sure. And then and then she uh she didn't give us the menus. She gave us the menus for the specials. And she and even before she sat us, she was like, "We have lots of specials." I was like, "Yeah, I didn't ask about specials." <laughs> so when she brought us the menus for the specials, I was like. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so that's when I was like, order like everything. Yeah, guys. we're going like, big. Yeah, we're going to show her what's up, yeah. you know? And she had no idea like that we, ordered, we even ordered. She just went back to the little uh, hostess. Hostess, then. <laughs> hostess headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> she went back to the corporate Listen, lady, I got a check coming in about two weeks. You're going to be real sorry. <laughs> you sat me on a patio. <laughs> yeah, I just we just had like steak, uh Filet mignon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do you get your steak cooked? Medium. Medium. All right. Okay. Gentlemen, mm-hmm. I respect it. Do, do me a favor. Send a bottle of champagne to that secretary <laughs> over there. <laughs> Tell her to go collect some data. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Okay. Do you drink? Occasionally. Yeah. Well, what do you, what kind of drink will you have after, you know, when you're mm. at dinner or relaxing or whatever? I love beer. Okay. Uh, I love beer. Uh, if I'm not drinking beer, I'll, I'll probably just drink whiskey. I like whiskey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. What do you guys like drinking? Everything. Beers? Yeah, beers. Yeah, beers. Yeah, yeah. Whiskey. Yeah. Nice. Too much. Uh, at the house at your dad's, do you, did you have you hooked it up with anything? Like, do you have a crazy TV in your room? Oh yeah, I got a I got a great TV. I love TV. Like I said, I love TV, man. I bought I'd love a, to see what his room bought a like TV before I bought better clothes. <laughs> Did you get a TV for the living room, too? No, that's my dad's job. <laughs> that's fucked up, dude. You can't, you can't be making the kind of money you're making oh, rolling man. it. Find your own, only yourself a TV. Dude, the house stinks. Your bedroom rules. Yeah. There's nah, a hot t- tub in there. To be fair. It's um, like a coming to America when they, re- they redo the one apartment. Nah, to be fair, my dad, uh, he makes he makes really good money. Okay. Gotcha. And so that land that we live on, he bought a trailer home. And that land when he was like 20. Okay. And we used to go and just stay there in the trailer home when I'd go to stay weekends and stuff. But about, um, I'd say about a year ago now, we uh, he finished building a, like a pretty big house on okay. that property, which is the house oh, nice. we live in now. Nice. So he had that house like ready to go before I really, like right before I, things really started taking off for me. Mm-hmm. So like. There was no need for me to like hook anything up. Yeah, it's all, gotcha. like, all, all new. So you yeah. got the land, you got the cars out there, you got the house. Yeah. Pool in the pool at the house? No pool. We have a pond, but don't go in there. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> it's giving us the warning. Don't go in there. <laughs> yeah. We if shoot, you're ever down there, my dad. We like going. shoot into the pond sometimes. Okay. Like okay. on like Fourth of July and stuff. Mm-hmm. Nice. What kind yeah. of guns you got on the property? We got an AK forty seven. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay. That's for, I mean, for guys who live in New York City, that's uh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So also, don't give me. I, I don't want people thinking I'm like some super like. Don't take my guns. Like, sure. I don't know. You can have them if you want. Just, <laughs> I'm not that attached to them. Yeah, but I just think I just do think it's kind of like they're so easy to get down there. Like, how are you not gonna you know shoot into the pond every now and then? Just, sure. Mm-hmm, get your yeah. gun. No, I would do the Texas. Same thing. What the fuck? That's yeah. Texas yeah. fishing, baby. Yeah. yeah. Um. Huh. Who's going to the grocery store down there? You do any grocery shopping? Usually my stepmom. Okay. Uh, sometimes I'll go just when when like um, maybe like on a Monday or a Sunday afternoon I'll take my son and we'll get like whatever he's gonna want for lunch. I gotta like pack him his lunch and stuff. Okay. All he's right. a spoiled kid, man. He wants me to make him lunch and I just I don't know. I, I I tell him all the time. I'm like I can make you sandwiches or send you with a lunchable. Mm-hmm. And he's just like do that. He just he's putting me to work. Yeah. So I'll go buy like snacks he likes or snacks that I like and stuff like that. But yeah, what do you what 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 do the boys like down there? What are you dipping into? Cuz you're young, he's young. Yeah. I'm sure you still have a taste for for the for the snacks. Uh, I know I do. I love uh 
what is it like the Uts, the cheese balls? <laughs> okay, oh, man, this is great. My the son big loves barrel? those. Yeah, yeah, get that barrel. <laughs> we'll get some of those. Maybe uh-huh. like I like uh, hot chips, like hot funyuns, hot Cheetos, stuff okay. like that. Does he eat that? Do you send him to school with that? Nah, he doesn't like spicy stuff. And what lunchables do you send, do you get him? What does he like? Uh, he likes like the the ham and cheese. He loves cheese. Like a lot. What about the cold pizza? You guys mess with the cold pizza at all? Man, he wants that one, but I don't feel good <laughs> him taking that one. I'm like, like we got to draw a line somewhere. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> cold Man. pizza. Huh. That is all right. Um, all right, a couple are you garbage questions here. Yeah. Uh, I, n- wait, now they begin? <laughs> <laughs> this is just the background. <laughs> hey, we're just trying to get a read on you. You know how garbagey I feel already? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not great. <laughs> You're down on the count, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's the bed in your, in your room? King, queen? Uh, Queen. Queen. You got a queen. And you got a TV in there? Got a TV, yeah. And do you eat in your no, room now? No, no headboard. It's just like... Like a small wooden platform. Okay. That holds Is the it bed. Pushed into the corner of the room? No. It's in the middle of the wall. Yeah. Come on. I got some clad, baby. Oh, just check it. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, have you ever used Axe body spray? Mm-hmm. When I was when I was like thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. You peeing in the shower? Yeah, from time to time if I feel it. Okay. Yeah. Not gonna like set a a, a, a rule for myself like <laughs> you got no him. pee or I am definitely a peer. Just mm-hmm. I play it by ear, baby. Do you brush your teeth in there? Not in the shower. Not in the shower. No. All right. I would if I could remember to take the toothbrush, but. And who's cutting the hair now? Where do you get your hair cut? Uh, I still go to the same barbershop, Oak Cliff Barbers. That you used to work at? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. There you go. Um, how many pillows are you sleeping with? Um, you know what's crazy? is like I just bought two, but sometimes while I'm gone, like my younger sister or my stepmom, when they when they, they do these like clean the whole house days and gotcha. they'll, they'll clean up my room, and then they leave like more pillows. Okay, sure. Yeah. So sometimes I have two. Sometimes it's like six. I don't know. It just, it just depends. <laughs> Man, this setup sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <I've seen. laughs> uh, what's on the walls in the bedroom now? Any posters? Goodfellas, Sopranos, Scarface. You know what's crazy is um I, I had an apartment for a little while and I. And even growing up in my bedroom, my my uncle, uh, huge Sopranos fan. Sure. And he had a he had a really really good friend, who gifted him when I was like, maybe ten or eleven. I don't know. I have he has a friend that gifted him a uh, a, a big Sopranos poster signed by the whole cast. Damn. Like yeah, it has like this whole certificate and shit. And uh, my uncle lived for a, my uncle had like nice house. Yeah, like I said, that was was doing good. Something happened along the way that for some reason for, for like not even a whole year, he came to live with me and my grandma. Mm-hmm. And I remember he just like, it was my mom's old bedroom. And he just like, man, made it look so nice. He had, <laughs> before he moved in, it looked like it, he had like a construction crew in there. Just uh-huh. like replaced the floors, put like nice hardwood floors and like. <laughs> Wait, whole, really? That's I swear awesome. to God. Just to stay temporarily? <laughs> guys redoing the floors? Yeah, like the room was so luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> and he had that poster in there and he had like nice furniture. Like, mm-hmm. And when he left, uh, I remember he told me, he's like, whatever I leave in that room, you can have. And he's like, you can keep that room. Like, So I had, I now had like the nicest room in the house. You're like, ripping yeah. up the hardwood floors <laughs> to get them in your room? <laughs> um and he left that poster in there. So I'd take that poster with me, like, anytime I had, like, an apartment or anything. I didn't take it to my dad's, though, because my uncle and my dad don't like each other. So I felt like my uncle would probably get mad if I... If it was hanging up in his house. Yeah, because the friend that gave it to him, uh, <laughs> may he rest in peace, is no longer with us. Uh-huh. So now he's just like, don't ever get rid of that poster. Don't, like, don't let nothing happen to that poster. Like, Yeah. Um, so it's just there at my grandma's. Now in my room, I got, like, a, cu- a couple Funko Pops. The little... The little yeah. bobblehead yeah, yeah, looking yeah, yeah. things. Uh, I do have a, a little frame of like the album cover and the CD of a Chief Keef CD. I'm okay. Into, like okay. Chief Keef. Uh, other than that, nah, no, nothing really. I keep them pretty, pretty plain. Pretty plain. Okay. Yeah. Dude, assigned Sopranos yeah, man, that's of the whole right. cast is a holy grail to a dirtbag. I would kill for that. <laughs> that thing, yeah, I think it's sweet. Huh. Do you like mayonnaise? I love mayonnaise. Do you use uh, Hellman's or do you use Miracle Whip? Hellman's mayonnaise, gentlemen. Hmm. All right. When you the chicken wings, you get them well done. Nah, I just get them how they come. But I do get all flats. You do. Yeah. All uh-huh. right. Gotta give them that all flats. How do you eat your flat? Uh, it's, I don't know. 
Do, like do, do, my do, mouth, do, my hand. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm saying, do you? Uh, <laughs> Who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because because you can you can just eat it straight, or do you pull one of the bones out? No, nah, I'll eat it straight usually. Hmm. I don't wait. What do you mean, pull one of the bones? You can out? like crack it in half. <laughs> yeah, you, you can, just you crack can, it and then eat it. You can you can snap it and then one of the slide one of the bones out and then it's just like one bite. You can get the whole thing. Ah, it's too. I think the wing is too small to give it that crab leg treatment. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I do love crab legs, though. Yeah. Do you like oysters? Man, I, 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 I used to love them, but one day I ate like 14 of them, and then I got sick. Because <laughs> it, it was like 14, but like... Uh, How old were you? Man, this is like, like earlier this year. <laughs> but um, like every two oysters would be like a different type of oyster. Yeah. And I think that's where I fucked up. Sure. Like Crossbreeding them or whatever. Cross Get you freaking jammed up with some food poisoning. Yeah. Oysters will open you up. Huh. Have you done any nice dinner since you've been in New York? Um, When I first met my agent and my manager, we went to like a pretty nice restaurant or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, now I feel like they know me better. Now we just get like a burger. Yeah. How do you get your burger cooked? Uh, medium. Do you, when, you, when you're eating the burger, do you put it back down upside down or do you keep it flat? You know, I keep it upside down. Why? Yeah. Is it, what you do. question is that? I, I, <laughs> that's crazy, though, because I never thought anybody would ask me about that. That's, I just noticed that I started doing that, it's too. That's the classiest that's way a gentleman's to move. Do you cut the burger in half or do you keep it whole? Nah, I keep it whole. Jeez. Okay. I'm still a, a man. Pussy. You're going to sit here <laughs> and call my, my new friend Ralph like that? <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? All right. We got you on the turn it upside down. That's uh-huh. pretty classy. In the past 365 days, have you been to a hookah bar? Nah. Okay. Have you had a hot pocket in the last 365 days? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about the rotisserie chicken? Mm, food is food. I like it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Flying up front? Um, mo- Most of the time. Yeah. But I still only fly like southwest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're flying out of Texas. That makes sense. Yeah. Will you buzz the attendant? Nah. Never? Nah. Take I just, your shoes off when you get on the plane? Yeah. You will? Yeah. What about putting the seat back? Will you drop the seat back? Uh, a bit. Okay. Yeah. But I you're conscious I, of it. Yeah, I didn't used to do none of that stuff, but after like the fiftieth flight, you're yeah, like, you get a little used. You're to like, it. dude, fuck off. Let me, yeah. I'll take it off my fucking shoes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I got it. All right, there you go. Huh. Uh, hotels. Yep. Um, they don't got to be like super great. Honestly, I love a luxurious hotel, but I do get mad that they only have like the more luxurious they get, the, the harder it is to find an iron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they just want to give you like a steamer. Just, just fucking steamers suck. Do you know how to iron? Do you know how to iron? I iron pretty good. Really? Yeah. Iron good enough t- for me. That's pretty good. Yeah. Do you own any suits? I own two suits now. Okay. Do you know what how to are actually? I I accidentally peed on one, so now nah, I just just <laughs> Wait, I own how? a suit and a half. A suit. And a half. It's just really drunk, trying to take off my clothes and pee at the same time. Well, you just get a dry clean. You don't have to throw it out. I didn't want to touch the the pee shirt. Really. <laughs> the t-shirt. What are the suits? What are the brands? Hugo Boss. Okay. Really? There oh, you yeah. go, Ralph. Couple of Hugos. What was the reason for buying them? The first suit was because I it was it was my first Tonight Show appearance, and Great I had always reason. yeah I had always had that goal in my mind. I was like, I'm gonna go on there, and I'm gonna wear a suit. My so my uncle, uh, like all drug dealers, eventually ended up going to prison. Okay. And I remember uh, he was like. You know, going through like trial or whatever, and on his final court date, he wore this gray suit with a, a purple Burberry tie. Damn. And um, I, I don't know. I I just thought it was, you know it sucks to see your family go. Of course. Sure. Uh, and I at that moment I was just thinking about like all the good he had done for a lot of my relatives. Like mm-hmm. he, he took you know my grandma out of a bad neighborhood. He retired her. He he had like helped out tons of our family in Mexico, make sure they had a roof over mm-hmm. their head. Like, sure. He did so much and then, you know, now he's going to like pay for all the bad things he did. So when when I started doing comedy, um I I would remember that suit and I always wanted to do the Tonight Show. So I was like, when I go on the Tonight Show, I want to wear that suit as like a I don't know. Yeah, like pass the torch, of but like course. in a good way now. Like I want my uncle to know, like hey, I, I'll look out for our family now. But Wait, like, did you wear a, that exact suit, like his suit? Yeah, but I wore sneakers with mine, but not his exact suit. You I just I got had it. it. I just got it. I wore his tie. He he did let me have that tie. Get Damn. the fuck out of here. That's fucking yeah. awesome, man. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Passing the torch. That's fucking cool as shit. I was like, that tie doesn't die in court, man. It, <laughs> it, it dies <laughs> on the Tonight <laughs> Show. That's gonna, that's gonna see one more day, baby. Yeah. Huh? How long is he in for? 
Uh, he's actually out now. Nah, -uh. hey. yeah. There you go. Yeah, he's cool. He's like loving life. He loves freedom. Um, when he went in, you hadn't, you weren't popping. No, right? no, 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 no. Even when he got out. <laughs> 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 but now he's got to be ecstatic oh man he's and like he got to see you wear that fan. tie on the tonight show yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's sick that's fucking that's, sick that's dude. a really good story that's all right huh. what are you doing deodorant wise what do you like old spice yeah yeah this one girl was like you wear old spice it's like what are you a kid like it smells good you didn't even know yeah. I was like, whatever. Old you're... Spice is not for kids. Yeah. I was like, also, you're banging me. Like, who are you to judge? <laughs> yeah, you got to get your priorities straight, <laughs> yeah. lady. You're fucking up worse than Old Spice. Any cologne? Um, Man, you know what's crazy? It's like, I I'll wear whatever colognes, like, were whatever gifted to me. Sure. My younger sister one day bought me this, like, Mercedes cologne. I didn't even know Mercedes made cologne. She got it, like, at a Macy's or something. <laughs> okay. And it smells so good. <laughs> And at first, I just really liked the smell. Walking around smelling like new car. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually, uh, you know, being on the road here and there, I'd get lucky with the girl or two. Sure. Mm -hmm. And they would always compliment how I smelled. So after that, I was like, bro, I'll stick it to this that's cologne. That's it. Yeah. That's the, <laughs> the, the so you're a Mercedes man. Signature Mercedes, yeah. scent. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Huh. Man. I what mean, a, I'm what a tail. Yeah, I'm. We got. I think. I think we got enough dirt under the fingernails to render a decision. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you get? How do you get your eggs cooked? Uh, I usually do scrambled, but sometimes I'll do like over easy, over medium. You like eggs Benedict? I've never tried them. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I look at that and I'm like, the fuck is that for? <laughs> do yourself a favor. <laughs> Try it. Oh, it's good. good. You'll yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all right. Huh. That's funny, man. Hmm. I don't like change. I'm just like scramble my shit. <laughs> And take your paper straws with you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You ever saved a Crown Royal bag? <clears throat> nah, I, I, I've only had a bottle of Crown Royal once when <laughs> when I was like twenty one or twenty two. My buddy worked at a very ghetto nightclub in Dallas. He was a photographer of the club, mm -hmm. and for my for my birthday, he's like, he's like, oh, the one that I grew up washing dishes with at his family's restaurant, who's who's now the photographer for mm -hmm. us. Um, Dude, you got the fucking squad with yeah, you? Yeah, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, man. He uh he got us a section at this really ghetto nightclub, and they gave us a bottle of Crown Royal. And, uh, it's just like two guys hanging out, like <laughs> chugging a bottle of Crown Royal. Like, we ended up just sharing shots with whoever wanted a party, guys, yeah, girls, whatever. Looking you know? for somebody to hang out yeah. with. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I drank like half the bottle alone. I was, I was, like, I was hammered. And I was so hungover the next day. It took me like a year to drink Crown Royal ever again. Yeah. Every time I smell it, I want to uh, throw it. Soco, up. I have that because I drank half a bottle when I was in like eighth grade. <laughs> Anytime I smell it, I want to fucking vomit. Man. <sighs> Anyone in your family ever involved in a pyramid scheme? Yeah, my grandma. No shit. Yeah, she would do like these like. The, you know when they sell like those vitamins and supplements sure. that's the first yes we've ever gotten on the show to <laughs> yeah. that question which is awesome uh, huh any timeshare pitches you ever go to a timeshare pitch nah have you ever waited to get someone's autograph um nah hmm. i i don't know maybe like i'm a fan of a lot of artists celebrities whatever uh, maybe because I never really run into a whole lot of them. And when I do run into people, I'm like a big fan of my, my main thing is like I never wanted to like piss them off. Or anything. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, I kind of just want to. I'd rather be like the fly on the wall. Mm -hmm. Just so I can kind of hear them talk with her. Sure. But when I met Bum B, I was like, can I get a picture? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bum B. <laughs> <laughs> Every dude from Texas loves Bum B. Yeah, yeah. What was your first concert? I've never been to a live concert. What? What? Mm -mm. Never. Why? Like, that never crossed. When I was in high school. Oh um, man, my friends would start going, or like, not my friends. My my friends were as lame as I was. Which, <laughs> sure. But with buddies, buddies from high school, or when they would start going, um, I never really would have like the money to go. Once I was like in high school, that's when, like the the dream was over for like my family. People start getting locked up or whatever. Gotcha. So um, also I was I was, I was getting older. People were expecting me to like provide for myself, mm -hmm. but I I wasn't making a whole lot of money. Like I'd work on weekends and make some chump change, and I just use it for food maybe going to the movies or something um i never would put in the effort to like finding out 
when an artist I like was coming, buying tickets to their concert. Mm-hmm. I also didn't want to like sit far. I was like, sure, if I go, yeah, I'm going to yeah. go up front. But by the time I was like 18, 19, I started going to open mics and like shows. And, and that was all your time. Yeah, I was like, I'll go, I'll go to a concert one day. But yeah, I still haven't gone. I, I have... I know what it's like, though. I have seen live performances. Like, when I was on Bird's tour, <laughs> sure. uh, Jelly Roll popped in and played a song. Yeah. So that was cool. And then when I did uh, I did Mo Amer Day in Houston, that's where I met Bun. Talib Khalid was also there. So I got to watch Bun B and Talib Khalid uh, perform. So that that's was pretty it. cool. There you go. Yeah. That was like six months ago, probably. No, I was just like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's first concert, 27. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's all right. Buddy, I fucking love you, man. Yeah. That was uh that was quite the fucking tale. Hundred percent garbage. Yeah, you're trash. <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> dude. I mean yeah, you're living at your dad's house, you got six cars. <laughs> I gotta call like we see it, dude. Uh, yeah. I get mad at my little brother when he touches the cars. <laughs> Don't even look at him. <laughs> Gang, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ralph Barbosa yeah, has an man. amazing special out right now on Netflix called Cowabunga. He's on tour right now. Do yourself a favor. Check him out. Check Absolutely out. hysterical. Anything else you want the folks out there to know? Uh, follow me on Instagram. There you go. Ralph Barbosa. <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> Kibby, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we're all over the road. Tickets are moving quick. Shows are selling out. Get them while they last. Are you garbage.com. Gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace.